Now to a CBS4 News safety alert. West Miami police are looking for a brazen bandit with a thing for a salmon. They say he entered a public supermarket armed with a knife to make off with his catch. CBS4's Peter Dench has more on what police are saying about this suspect. West Miami Police Major Pete Delgado tells me that he is eager to get the suspect off the street. He says someone could have been hurt when the suspect pulled up his shirt. It showed a manager a knife. The suspect fled with $60 worth of salmon. Authorities say their suspect was determined to leave the store with packages of salmon. They say he not only stole the fish, but he also showed a manager he had a silver folding pocket knife. Major Pete Delgado is alarmed. He could have actually hurt the manager or somebody else if they tried to stop him from stealing the, the, the food. It happens inside this public supermarket on Southwest 57th Avenue at 15th Street. It is 2.45 in the afternoon this past Tuesday when the suspect first goes to the seafood counter. He ordered a bunch of salmon and basically they, they gave him the salmon at the counter and he put it inside of his backpack um, and he proceeded to go to the checkout counter and he had two packs that he was attempting to pay for. Surveillance tape shows this man trying to use a debit or credit card, but he is not able to make the purchase. When the manager confronted him and he said, hey, you need to put that salmon back, uh, he pulled up his shirt and he showed the manager a, a knife and said, I have a knife, and at which time the manager backed off. A police report says when the manager asked to look in his backpack, the suspect says, no, I have drugs in there. He flees on this bicycle he has rented. Delgado has analyzed this tape. His whole attitude, when you look at the video, it, it looks like he's done this obviously many times before. And you know, our concern is not only for our residents, but the Gables residents, because they have several publics in their jurisdiction. A police report says the suspect was wearing a long chain and baggy pants and has an Asian letter on his neck. I would say he's about 5'6, five, 5'7, five, uh, thin build, um, Hispanic male. He had a facial covering, so you cannot really tell what he looked like. Hey, what would it mean to you to get him off the street, Pete? Well, it would mean that our residents would be safe and that everybody in Publix would be safe. It's possible the suspect may live in this area. He fled northbound on 57th Avenue and turned eastbound towards Coral Gables just a few blocks away. He's wanted right now for armed robbery with a deadly weapon. If you can help find him, call Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. In West Miami, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.